finally something to talk about, something to get excited for, the return of the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. What is good, y'all? It's not stop, no, no, with another video. First things first, I want to uh, say is what a card, what a card, what a great, legitimate uh, pay-per-view card, solid pay-per-view card, a pay-per-view card that I have no problem paying for, not like one of these uh, bogus-ass cards where it's just the main event that you pay for and not even the co-main and the 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 fights lower than that literally a bunch of nobodies with no risk involved no nothing this is a stacked card you guys this is a legitimate pay-per-view card okay i'm just gonna preview here and just you know give you the names that that are on this card we have uh 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 coffee in this card okay we have uh Michelle Rivera, the you know little Muhammad Ali, I think he's from the Dominican Republic. Um, he's featured on this card. Um, we have uh, Vito uh, Milnicki Jr. Uh, from Jersey, you know Jersey boy. He's on. He's featured on this uh, card. Probably you know bringing in the uh, Jersey folk to uh, Barclays, right? We have Gary Antonio Russell, part of that. Uh, you know. Russell family always exciting he's doing a rematch with uh Manny Rodriguez from Puerto Rico that uh their last fight was a uh, just ended in a first round head clash that was a no contest so this is a curious fight to see what really would have happened in that card again exciting fights this is we're not even at the co-main yet y'all these are good fights these are fights that are like will be good by themselves Obviously not on pay-per-view, but just on regular cards that they put up on Fox or a Showtime uh, boxing card, a regular Showtime card. But they stack this pay-per-view with all these notable names, notable opponents. Not so this is this is a this is a good card, man. Let's continue, shall we? We have uh, Frank Sanchez, uh, the heavyweights. Frank Sanchez versus uh, Carlos Negron. Okay, that's going to be a good scrap. We finally, finally get to the co-main. Caleb Plant versus Anthony the Dog Durrell. They got, uh, you know, bad blood between each other. I don't know why, but whatever. But that's going to be an exciting fight. It really is. And last but not least, we have the main fight, the return. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder versus... Robert and Elias. Okay. So uh let's go with the uh the weigh-in for the co-main. I'm I'm gonna do my weigh-in and uh, predictions for my co for co-main and, and main. Um the rest of them is just gonna be too long of a of a video. Um co-main, Caleb Plant. Um after his loss to uh Canelo versus Anthony Durrell. Um what was Darrell's last fight? Was Darrell's last fight uh Benavidez? I believe so. I don't know for sure. So uh, you know, correct me on that. Anyway, um looking at the weigh-in right now. Um they're, they're getting into a little uh, you know, man's man and kind of shoving each other, posing and flexing. Whatever. Um I plant like usual, he comes in. Um, at a ready weight, once 167 for the 168 uh, weight class, and uh, Anthony Durrell, um, what can I say? He 167 as well. Um, Caleb Plant, obviously, he is the favorite, he's the younger, fresher guy. Um, with the boxing skills, not saying that um, Anthony does not have boxing skills, he does, he's just he, he he's an older fighter he's a more shop worn fighter that's what's going on here i think it's going to be the battle between who's shop worn versus who 
is Caleb Plant really Caleb Plant that we remember from his uh his title shot um with uh forgot that dude's name. Crap, I forgot I forgot uh who who he um Uzgatsugi. Is he the same guy that when he won his title from uh Uzgatsugi? Um I'm gonna say this right now. I'm gonna give you my opinion and I'm gonna give you who I'm going for for this one. Um so I'm gonna stick with the odds makers. Caleb Plant um should win this fight. He should win this fight. But I'm I'm riding with my dog uh Anthony Durrell on this one. Um Caleb Plant sh uh showed me his skirt last go around with Canelo. I still can't take that off my mind how he basically bowed down from Canelo after all that shit talking, after all that, you know, I'm going to be different and I and I, I uh I believed him too. That's the thing. Out of all the 168 guys, I thought he could have pulled it off and beat um once uh, and and beat Canelo. And he proved me wrong. The one that got me the most is when that round. I'm I'm not I'm never gonna forget this neither. That round, it was I forgot what round, it was like mid round or something, and he was talking to Canelo in between the fight saying, I look good, huh? Hey Canelo, I uh not not so bad, huh? I'm a pretty good fighter, huh? Like he's trying to get recognition, trying to get respect from Canelo, trying to talk to him like he they're, they're buddies, and Canelo's trying to take his fucking head off. I did not like that at all. Why are you trying to get Canelo's recognition for? He don't care. He does not care about that. He's there to beat you, to put you down, and that's exactly what he did. You showed him, uh, he showed him way too much respect. And I did not like that. And he laid down. He laid down for him. So with that being said, if Anthony Durrell, if Anthony Durrell could get inside and lay something on him like Canelo did, which I think he still has the opportunities to, to do so. Um, Anthony Durrell, as long as Anthony Durrell doesn't get cut. Or no fluke happens, you know. It, it, you know, his hand doesn't get hurt or anything like that. Cut that ring off and put something on him. And I think he can get him up out of there. But I'm pretty sure Darrell is going to need to get him up out of there. Because uh, Caleb Plant is going to win by points. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, again, my prediction is Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant by decision, I guess. Um. But like I said, heart, uh, my heart, I'm 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 going for uh the dog, Anthony Durrell. Okay. Let's get into the main event. Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder versus Robert Hanelius. Look, man. Last time we saw Wilder was around this time, right? Last year in October. Third fight with Fury. Fury's is literally the biggest man, I think, in boxing today. Size wise. At the same time, he knows how to use his size and his reach. He knows how to grapple and hold you and push your head down and 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 choke hold you just like he was doing with those wilders fights that's exactly what he did grab them into the ropes okay that's the last time we saw wilder and wilder still still put up a valiant effort Dropped him twice, arguably, and I still say to this day, on the fourth round, he stopped Fury. He stopped him in the fourth round. You want to hate on it? You want to? You want to say, "Oh, come on, no, stop, no, no, that's bullshit." Come on. Look at the fight. Look at the time. 
Look at that bitch ass ref. How he paused in, in the middle of his count at six, gave him five extra seconds to, to get Fury up. Look at that round again. Arguably, Deontay should be uh, on the winner's column and knocked out uh, Fury. So, we're back today, about a year later. Deontay Wilder, a year ago, was 240 pounds, I believe, 238 pounds, something like that. The Deontay of old is back. 214 pounds. Light. Comfortable, long, lengthy. He's going to have the speed. He's still going to have the power. Going to have the endurance. And that's for the most part right there. That right there, I emphasize, he's going to have the endurance. Okay. Obviously, you know where I'm going with this. Everybody knows um, their prediction. Um, this is like probably 90% of the people Wilder by stoppage by knockout over Robert Hanel uh, Hanelius. Um, let's, let's talk about the Nordic nightmare. Uh, shall we? I know, um, haters of Wilder, they're going to try and downplay this like, oh, he's just your sparring partner. La la la. This and that, blah, blah, blah. Um, last time I checked, Robert Hanelius has been on a knockout streak. I think four or five times in a row. Straight knockout streak. That's a confidence booster coming in. Um, Wilder just lost two fights in a row, right? That's another confidence booster. Knowing that your opponent lost. So now you you know you gotta give that doubt. You put that doubt in Wilder's head. He knows Wilder because being a um, sparring partner, that's another confidence booster. Okay. And uh, Robert Hanelius, he just stopped um, a contender, uh, up and coming contender in uh, the baby face assassin of the Polish guy. I forgot his name. Um, twice. And, and knocked him out. So he's coming off his biggest wins yet. Coming into this fight. Wilder's coming off his biggest loss yet. Coming into this fight. So I want to say. As far as as far as Hanelius Hen goes. This is the best circumstance that you could get. the The best scenario for Wilder that you could get. Uh, versus Wilder that you could get um, if you're Robert Hanelius. Uh Maybe not sure of himself, even though I know he's sure of himself, Wilder. Um, a Wilder is coming off a year layoff. A Wilder that got knocked out twice. And vice versa. Uh, Hanelius won twice. Uh, won, I think, knockouts twice. Yeah, yeah. And coming off of his biggest wins twice. This is a good matchup, y'all. Y'all can't hate on this fucking matchup. You, you guys are going to, but you guys can't. A come, this, come, this is a dangerous comeback fight. You know that, right? This is a solid, real matchup. Wilder could have picked anybody. Could have picked some whatever name. But he 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 got this guy. Okay. Um, my prediction is, uh, Wilder knockout under six rounds. Um, Wilder does have to reach. Um, that's one thing that, uh, Wilder didn't benefit from, from, from Fury. Fury had the reach and the height. Not only that, the size, not only that, the boxing ability, not only that, the ref. Okay. 
everything was stacked against him. So this one's way more on an even playing field. Um, <clears throat> two fourteen, man. When Wilder is in the two tens, in the in the in the two teens, uh, pounds wise, he he he's that's when he's at his best. So I'm very excited about this fight. Um, I can't wait for tomorrow night. Um, but let's see what what uh how long it goes. I really I really hope it's not like some flash knockout like first round knockout. I mean it is what it is. If it's a if it's a first round knockout, obviously. But I I want to see what Wilder, you know, at least a couple rounds. What Wilder can do, moving, you know. What other tricks and tactics he's been learning from uh, Malik Scott, stuff like that. I, I want to see it. But if the, the, the knockout comes earlier than six, and obviously it comes earlier than six. Again, I'm predicting six or less anyway. But I do want at least maybe three, four rounds just to get him in the swing of things, you know, get the, get the ring rust out. Anyways, that's all I got. Um, hate, like comment, subscribe, the whole nine. I'm out.